మనిషి పుట్టింది కదలడానికి చెట్టులాగా ఒకే చోట ఉండిపోవడానికి కాదు అందుకే వేర్లు కాకుండా మనిషికి కాళ్ళు ఇచ్చాడు ఆ దేవుడు బహుశా అదే నా మైండ్ కూడా అనుకొని ఉంటుందేమో ఈ జాబ్ రోజు సేమ్ రొటీన్ వర్క్ అదేదో నాకు వెతకాలి ఆ క్లారిటీ ఏంటో నాకు తెలుసుకోవాలి అని అనిపించింది సడన్గా ఒక ట్రిప్ చేద్దాము అని చెప్పి అనుకున్నా అంతే ఇంకా ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఏదో వస్తే అక్కడికి వెళ్ళిపోతాం అనుకొని ఇంకా అదే చేశాను అదే టైంకి కొచ్చిన్లో ఉన్న నా ఫ్రెండ్ కాల్ చేసి అరే పాపే నా పరిస్థితి ఇలానే ఉందిరా అన్న అనేటప్పటికే అరే పదరా కలిసి అడ్వెంచర్ ట్రిప్ చేద్దాం అని చెప్పేసి అన్న వాడు ఓకే అనేసాడు అప్పుడు మొదలైంది అసలు జర్నీ ది వింటర్ మార్క్ అ వ్యాలీ ట్రెక్ ఇన్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ హై పాసెస్ ఇన్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ లామా అసలు మా ట్రెక్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది జనవరి ఎయిటీన్త్ ఆ రోజు కొద్దిగా లేచి మా రూమ్ నుంచి ఒక మంచి వ్యూ కనిపిస్తుంది ఆ వ్యూ చూసి కొద్దిగా తరించి కొద్దిగా ఆ ఫీల్ని తీసుకున్నాక వెళ్ళి కొద్దిగా రెడీ అయిపోయి ఒక మంచి హాట్ బ్రేక్ఫాస్ట్ చేసిన తర్వాత రెడీ అయిపోయాం మా ట్రెక్కి అలాగ మౌంటైన్స్ క్రాస్ చేస్తూ మనం పాస్ అవుతాము గురుద్వారా శ్రీ పత్తర్ సాహెబ్ దగ్గర నుంచి అక్కడ మీరు వెళ్తున్నట్టయితే డెఫినెట్గా టీ ట్రై చేయాల్సిందే నేను నా జీవితంలో అలాంటి టీ చూడలేదు మళ్ళీ అక్కడి నుంచి ప్రయాణం మొదలవుతుంది మౌంటైన్స్ మధ్యగా ది మెజెస్టిక్ జాన్స్కర్ నుంచి అది చూస్తూనే అసలు కడుపు నిండిపోతుంది అక్కడి నుంచి మెల్లిగా మనం కొన్ని బ్రిడ్జ్లు దాటుతూ ఉంటాము చూస్తాం కదా నార్మల్గా వీడియోస్లో అలాంటి బ్రిడ్జ్లు అనమాట అక్కడి నుంచి తార్ రోడ్ నుంచి మళ్ళీ స్నో రోడ్గా స్నో రోడ్ మీద నుంచి మట్టి రోడ్డు మట్టి రోడ్ నుంచి రాళ్ళ రోడ్డు రాళ్ళ రోడ్ నుంచి ఆఫ్ రోడ్ అలాగే అసలు కంప్లీట్ ఒక హోల్ ప్యాకేజ్ కార్ రైడే ఎంజాయబుల్ అక్కడి నుంచి మధ్యలో మనం కొన్ని బుద్ధిస్ట్ గొంపస్ చూస్తూ ఉంటాము ఇంకా దాని తర్వాత ఎప్పుడైతే మనం విలేజ్ దగ్గరికి వచ్చేస్తామో సారా విలేజ్ దగ్గరికి అక్కడ మనం కొన్ని వాటర్ క్రాసింగ్స్ చూస్తూ ఉంటాము చాలా అడ్వెంచరస్గా ఉంటుంది ఇంకా దాని తర్వాత ఇక్కడి నుంచి ఈ లొకేషన్ మాత్రం అదిరిపోతుంది ఆల్మోస్ట్ సారా విలేజ్ దగ్గర అలాగ నడుస్తూ 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 చేరిపోతుంది సారా విలేజ్ హోమ్ స్టేకి Having traditional Ladakhi food at uh, Sara village. We got pickle, roti, dal, sabzi and rice. We are sleeping at the Sarah Homestay, day one. We are in the day two of Marka Valley Trek and uh, just now we started from the homestay at the Sarah village. This is our homestay and that is my crew. We are set to Skew village and it's approximately a 7 km trek from sara homestay it's about 10:30 and we are expected to reach by 2 pm let's see how the this phase of trek goes hey come on
the temperature here at night times it goes to minus 15 and we had a exciting bonfire last night with some hot meals people in the homestay they were absolutely lovable and they were taking good care of us For the first time, we are, I mean our truck leader Mr. Rezin has given us a break and we are just having some water, some energy bars and we are about to do lunch. It's around 1 pm at Hemis National Park. Uh, we are on the way to Skew Village from Sara. We started around 10.45 in the morning and we are expected to reach in Two three hours. So we have encountered a few animals at the Hemis National Park. They are mostly horses, and we also found mountain goats. Julie! This is our Marka Valley homestay uh, at Marka village. It's good, they have a nice facility, and that is the bathroom. <laughs> Small bus. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. We have a little guest in our Marka Valley homestay. Hi. Hi. Julie. Julie. We are in the homestay at Marka Village on the day to of Marka Valley Trek and this is our homestay and uh, this is where I'm going to sleep and this is the heater and it is a bit difficult to sleep in the night without the heater so yeah <laughs> too tough I don't know since last evening I started to have a slight headache with uh, too much cracking of lips and nose and since the time I entered in uh, arrived in Leh I was having a running nose so uh, even on the day two uh, the running nose didn't stop and I'm having quite a block here at the cavities and uh, nose block
Hey guys, good morning. We are starting from uh, Marka homestay. This is day three of our Marka Valley trek, and uh, we are heading to Hunkar. So it's a 12 kilometer long trekking, and uh, this is by far the most uh, longest stretch that we will do in this trek. And yeah, we are all set, and uh, we are excited about it. We had a good breakfast, uh, good sleep last night, and the temperature here it is around minus six or minus seven, I guess. Uh, we don't have internet connection here, like we had back in uh, Sara homestay. Uh, so today we are hoping to get a Wi-Fi connection at uh, Hunker homestay, probably for five ten minutes. That's what our trek leader, Mr. Rezing, said. Uh, and uh, there was a big river crossing which is a marker river crossing that we had to do in order to reach at the marker village it is approximately 10 30 in the morning we are almost on schedule i must say and we are expected to reach hunker village by 3 30 or 4 in the evening which has like a couple of river crossings few ascents in uh, altitude Smile to the camera guys. Oh. I'm still alive after day three. <laughs> <laughs> Finally reached uh, Hankar homestay at 5 p.m. We started from Marka homestay at uh, 10.30 in the morning and it took us around 7.5 hours to do 12 km trek. It was challenging, exciting and tiring. And we had to stop a lot in between and uh, couldn't pick up the pace with our trek leader. But somehow we made it successfully and uh, tomorrow we'll be leaving back to Marka. So that's around 12 km uh, trek back from hunker my nose is blocked head is blocked and <laughs> having a sore throat and lips cracked like hell uh, the temperature is around minus 16 degrees centigrade celsius i guess this is a hunker homestay it's the kitchen and uh, we are having soup some hot tea along with the crackers so this is the heater mainstream heater so it is too difficult to stay or sleep here without the heaters for us. But OTP. GP you can do. GP does not require OTP. UPI. Our trek guide. 
all the way from Bangalore, Vijay. Leo, Hello. oh man. <laughs> and there's another dude. And there's a late comer. Sai Kiran, all the way from Hyderabad. Straggler. <laughs> dude, come on, come on. Huh? People are waiting for you. Okay. Uh, hi. Hey. <laughs> There's a girl there for us, Sai. Huh? There's one girl there for you. Oh. Sai, Sai. Hold on, one proposal, pro pro proposal can I? So right now, uh, we are at the Marka homestay near a um, uh, Buddhist monastery in Marka village. So today morning, uh, we had to travel from Hankar to Marka, which is a 10 kilometer distance. And uh, it was pretty easy compared to yesterday's trekking, which was 12 kilometers with a lot of uh, altitude gain. <laughs> we are planning for a proper cozy sleep because of this thing this thing if that is not there then i cannot imagine how a night could go because uh, from the time i arrived in lay didn't have proper sleep so that is the first thing i'm gonna do once i'm back home and uh, yeah so tomorrow we'll be leaving to another homestay via sara village and uh, we'll be reaching lay around uh, afternoon 2 3 pm and uh, we plan to do some shopping at Le Market, try some local food. Uh, because day after tomorrow is the day where we depart from Le and uh, going back to our hometown. So let me show you what are the common things that we can find in uh, homestays, especially during winter Marka Valley trek. <coughs> so these are the things we can find peanut butter, honey, jam, tomato ketchup and uh, as soon as we arrive at the homestays we are greeted with bowl of crackers biscuits hot water hot water hot tea and the tea is made out of uh, amul milk only we also get coffee you know like the common things and they have like small stove and on top of that they also have this heater you know uh, they can few homestays boil water you know they use the same heating thing we have a chimney and it also radiates a lot of heat so you know it would be warmer for uh, us to sleep throughout the night also we'll be having uh, uh, dip tea and everything and in few homestays uh, we can find internet there will be wi-fi connection from uh, I think from radio satellites but there are also few homestays where they don't have internet connection so right now as we are staying in Markha homestay near the Buddhist monastery uh, they have Wi-Fi connection here but uh, it was worthless you know uh, we stopped here because we are getting Wi-Fi connection and uh, communicate any message with our family but uh, it wasn't that great they will arrange everything for us to sleep right from uh, the bed, I mean the mattress, the pillow, two, three different kind of blankets, including the rug, because uh, without this, we cannot uh, sleep. I mean, it will be too difficult because we are sleeping in around minus 15, minus 20 degree temperature. So, you know, until and unless we have the heater on all night and these rugs and blankets on top of us, so I think uh, one can get a proper good night's sleep then. And this is one common thing that we have to do every night, every day. Okay, Applying Vaseline completely uh, to the lips, nose, everywhere. Because, uh, you know, we'll be having a lot of cracky lips by the time we wake up. And especially when we trek during the day, due to the cold winds, we'll be having a lot of cracked lips and that irritates a lot and uh, 
just remember that before sleeping we have to apply a lot of vaseline to our foot uh to the lips nose you know it's better even if you apply it to our hands so that you know uh we can stay warmer and my friend here he is using the warmer packs from uh, kichwa you know we have this little warmer packs that we can uh, stick to our body not on bare body but on clothes to keep ourselves warm at least for 10 hours so we have to he is using that even i was using that one keeping in between thighs and another one on chest so that you know the entire body could uh, be warm uh, in the middle of the night so all the homestays have electricity connection so we'll not be having any problem in charging up our uh, digital things you know they'll be having this charging board this charging board so right now we are charging our gopros uh, mobile phone power banks and everything we have like couple of gopros along with dj gimbals everything so yeah tonight uh, at our last homestay for this winter marka valley trek uh, this is my bed this is where i'm going to sleep with three different blankets and yeah see you guys on the other side so good morning guys today we are leaving from marka homestay to le so we'll be passing through sara village and uh, we'll be picking up some stuff that we left while we were doing the trek due to the weight issues so this was the homestay that we stayed last night it was good so we are expected to reach le by 2 pm we had good breakfast roti dal boiled egg and few of other guys had uh, roti jam with uh, honey also due to the nose block i had just hot dal and egg and there is a buddhist monastery here like i was saying the last night right that we stopped here for a wifi connection but we didn't get any so this is the monastery hi jule Hey guys so we are back in Le I'm back in Le this afternoon around 2 pm so we started from Marka Valley so we had a car coming to pick us up at the nearest Marka Valley homestay and from there we traveled to Le We are heading back to the room after buying some souvenirs from the Leh market. Walking through streets of Leh at the night time after buying some souvenirs. I think this is the first no no second time we are walking in the night time, right? Yeah. And we can see Sanchi Stupa right behind and you know we met an interesting person in this journey. and once i'm back to the hotel let me introduce him he is famous he is a famous youtuber he is a famous instagramer and also one interesting thing we found a telugu car 
and car having andhra pradesh registration it means we have telugu people in lay bond to the love in danki manol unna ro anante o manch feel is today and this is our hotel hotel welkin hi it is in the upper tukcha road it is around 1 and 1/2 km from the lay market it is walkable and that side we can find sanchi stupa i think this is a new building here because i am unable to find anyone but there is one guy called sachin who manages everything and this is the hotel reception and can you guys see there nation first with big led lights it is set up on some mountain top like how hollywood is written in los angeles i guess like that and we are just entering into our room ta 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 this is our room these are our two little buddies without them we couldn't live here what about this buddy he is idiot it's okay i can live without him i was telling you that i would show you an interesting person once i reach my hotel room so i'm in my room right now and look who is here it is none other than the nomadic manav hey guys what's up how are you uh, finally we managed to meet up like uh, he went for the trek and i was here for a shoot so we had a same hotel and now currently we are uh, spending our last night over here Uh, for him it is the last night and for me i think more 10 to 15 days more i have to go so let's see how it goes i mean it was crazy to meet a famous youtuber i don't know how to react chalo <laughs> <laughs> then this is the last day of our trip uh, i'm leaving to hyderabad and it is around 10 in the morning here in leh and uh, the cab is already here with the dodgy bhai who will be taking us to the airport <laughs> he is the first one to uh, meet me in le uh, he was just holding that placard golden eagle expedition and he was just sitting uh, outside the airport and finally the entire trip was a memorable one i couldn't forget uh, the people the culture and uh, especially the locations that we been to and everything yeah i mean uh, look at the nature look at the snow the animals the buildings you know wherever we see we can find something interesting in lay that is the beauty of this place nothing is wasted nothing is uh, into that boredom you know nothing falls into that category each and everything everywhere everyone are so interesting that we can take up some learnings from them throughout and uh, our last packs for the journey mr rohit is entering into the cab and uh, we are all set to uh, go to the airport and from there i'll be taking a flight to delhi uh, this afternoon around 1:30 and uh, around 5 in the evening i have a connecting flight to hyderabad uh, i'll be reaching to my home probably by 12 12 or 1 in the night and yeah to put the entire picture in a whole point the maka valley winter trek 2022 was not that easy and definitely not a beginner trek i would say uh, there were a lot of challenges a lot of exciting things and adventures that we have to go through it was one of the best trips that i can ever take and uh, i seriously thank my trek leader rinzin and to my fellow trekkers rohit vijay and uh, leonel culture that we observed the pure ladaki culture their hospitality their love you know it was way above the 
thing and i seriously thank the golden eagle expedition team for making this happen though there were a lot of uh, obstacles and cut downs that they have to do for various things uh, it was a good thing and finally if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts remarks or anything just leave them in the down comment box and see you next time Saikiran signing off from Leh Ladakh